Hi, welcome to the children's message. If you'll remember, we've been talking a lot about Jesus and how he took great care and time to teach his disciples about how they were going to go out and show people how much God loves them and tell them about the word of God. And in today's Bible message, he's telling them that it's not always going to be easy. There are going to be people who don't want to believe you or who even might wish to cause you harm because of what you believe. But he did tell them something very important about their work. And he told them that anybody who welcomes you is really welcoming me, meaning Jesus. And he said, anybody who welcomes me is really welcoming my Father in heaven, God. And he talked to them about doing acts of kindness. And he said, and anything you do, even something as simple as giving someone water when they're thirsty, you're really doing for me. And then, of course, you're really doing for God. And one of my favorite stories to illustrate this is the story of a Roman soldier. And his name was Martin. And he had a very good heart. And riding into town one day in France, he saw a beggar who was only half clothed and cold on the side of the road. And as the story goes, he felt such compassion for him that he took his own red cloak, which back then was a huge symbol of being a Roman soldier, and he cut it in half and gave it to the man who was cold. And then that night, Martin had a dream, and he dreamed that in heaven, Jesus was wearing half of a red cloak. And the angels were asking, where did you get the red cloak? And he said, a man named Martin gave it to me. And the dream struck him so much that eventually he left the Roman army and became part of the church to go preach the word of God to others. But that example just shows us that when we do something for someone in need, we are really doing it for Jesus. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to not just tell others about Jesus and tell others about his word, but to actually do acts or show good deeds to others to show God's love. And then he promises that when you are doing those things, you're really doing it for him. And one of the messages in today's passage also is that your reward for doing so will be great. And I know that in school, oftentimes when you do things for others or teachers catch you being kind to someone else, they'll give you a reward. Or in Kaylee's dance class when she was little and they were good to each other and did their best, they would get stickers. But the kind of reward that Jesus is talking about isn't a sticker. And God's not going to give you a chance to go to the treasure chest if you do something nice for others. What he promises in today's passage is that your reward will be great when you get to heaven. And someday all of us are going to get to be together again in heaven. And it's going to be more wonderful than you could ever, ever imagine. So just know that for now, God wants you to do good things and do kind things for others. But you're not going to get a sticker for it, or you're not going to get to go to the prize box right now. Just know that inside your heart, it's going to make you feel happy and good about doing things for others, and that God sees everything. Every time you're kind to somebody, or you're helpful, or you do something for someone who needs help, he's really just giving you a hug from heaven, or Jesus is giving you a pat on the back saying, good job. So keep up the good work and just know that someday you will get that great reward. But for now, just know that God sees everything you do and he's proud of you. And so am I. I hope you have a great week.